space. What room? Third. Third phase of the Blake Cousins here. Welcome back, everybody from around the world. Quite exciting. Lots of evidence coming in via our Facebook. I mean, lots. Now we're going to get to some of my favorites. We have five submissions for you that's going to blow you away. So let's get to it. Carrie Lane Schreiber heading east from Alma to the Republican City on the last curve just trying to get some footage of lightning captures this incredible anomaly. This is quite amazing and we are going to be analyzing it as we are right now and Brent's here and we're going to go over a lot more footage tonight so hang on it's going to get quite wild. This is a amazing footage just into third phase and I got to say lightning storms are magnets for UFO encounters and just at the right time as Carrie has her camera while filming these lightning storms going on in Florida. They happen all the time. There, there is pure evidence in front of your face. Brett, right away, what do you, what do you got to say about this video? Blake, I'm excited. This is good. What I like about it is we see a trail. This thing comes in from left to right and it just shoots past the camera. These guys are coming into the storm and it may be this just harnessed the energy it needed and it's done. It just took off and this is a glimpse of something amazing. What are we looking at? The trails that it's leaving is is leaving evidence for us to see right now. The quality is a little low, but the slow motion and the enhancements really give a lot to what we're looking at here. What is it? Cigar shaped UFO? Something interdimensional? It's an opinion for all of us to make right here. You're right, and you just took the words out of my mouth, Brent. That interdimensional, it comes out of nowhere. And when you see it up here into frame here. Let's get to the next submission, captured by Lori Brioso. And this was taken driving to Vegas. And it's explained that it's creepy as hell. What kind of cloud formation is this, people? Tentacles. A squid-like formation. Massive. Could it be a life form? Whatever it is, it is something that is out of the archives at Third Phase and Moon right now, and we're sharing it to you, to the world. Brent, first off, Harp, sir, what comes to your mind here? All right, let's just get to the evidence right here. We two submissions just in people driving and capturing amazing images. Lori states, creepy as hell. I would be freaked out if I saw something like this. And it's, it's stunning material, what we're looking at. We're zooming in. I really, I can't say I see any, any sort of Photoshop manipulation in these photos. It looks legitimate to me. And this could be possibilities of Project Bluebeam, Harp projecting images into our weather system. What are the capabilities of the government? Well, this could be possible evidence of disclosure right here. What a great photo. Thanks, Lori. Absolutely. The technology is there, right? And Lori may have captured the elusive holographic projection right now. And it could be designed to frighten us, creep the hell out of us. Who knows? Whatever it is, Lori captured something quite creepy. Leave your comments below on what you think she captured. Now let's get to the next submission right now. All right, this came in via Facebook and right away I was compelled by this photograph coming in all the way from Egypt. The Sphinx, what is on top of the head? It is kind of standing out there. It almost looks like a manhole. Is there a possible chamber, an inner chamber within the Sphinx's head here? The possibilities are intriguing to say the least. We're zooming in, we're bringing in a little brightness contrast and right away it does look unusual. It has a symmetrical circular shape to it. It's not natural. It could be restoration. Brent, what do you think? Blake, this is a rare moment when you see the view of the Sphinx on this angle right here. Really, it would take a drone to get a shot like this. Most of the time, we're on the ground and we see it looking up and this is kind of a first we're getting good detail on what we're looking at on the top of the sphinx head and it does look metallic it looks like a cover to something and if it is a manhole 
uh, restoration of the Sphinx, which has been done over the years. Why aren't they releasing on what's inside? What's the meaning of this? I bet bottom dollar there is a hidden chamber in this structure built by ancient Egyptians. And why not tell us the truth? Yeah, that's what it's all about. And what kind of knowledge could be within the Sphinx head here? Unknown treasures. We're not sure what a possible place to hide. Like a piggy bank. Your fortune. Your secrets. Well, it's quite amazing and it's in your face. And obviously this is something we think that needs to be shared at third phase of the moon. So we're gonna get to some more incredible submissions. So let's get to it. All right, people, here we go again. The ISS, massive formation of light. I count five of them right now. Amy Salvetti submitted this to third phase of the moon and we're sharing it right now. This was captured this month, May, 2016. And it's not all the time you could go and screen capture this when NASA's broadcasting, streaming live and to go back to the recording can be difficult at times. So sometimes people film with their iPhone directly what they're seeing at the ISS feed. You see no manipulation. It is what it is. And I believe Amy captured something quite incredible over planet Earth. Brent, could you imagine right there live streaming NASA? I bet you they cut the feed shortly after this. They do it all the time. No doubt, Blake, Amy had a fast hand. She pulled her camera out. Uh, sometimes it's not easy to record your screen or have that capability, but man, she pulled out that camera and got something very special here. They're out there looking at ISS feed and they capture amazing, stunning imagery of intergalactic spaceships leaving, coming and going from Earth in and out of existence. And always NASA will shut down the footage as soon as it comes out but we got smoking gun evidence right here submitted by Amy. Hey, thanks. Amy, I got a feeling you're always looking at the stream, the live ISS stream. It is quite incredible, some of the images that come in. People, have your eyes ready, have your cameras ready, and have a screen capture recording device ready when you're watching this. You never know when it's gonna go down. It's streaming live, people, and it is there. The evidence is there. Now let's get to the next submission. And this is quite incredible. From Florida, take a look at this. How is a major media and the military going to explain this to us? The evidence is always being captured by you, the people from the ground. This was captured Gulf Gate Estates, Florida by Daryl Huff. And we're sharing it right now, Third Phase Moon, captured this month, May 2nd, 2016. We are going over evidence right here at Facebook and there is a wealth of information getting out to the people right now. He also submits this photograph. Look at this. Wow, also along with the evidence right here, we're zooming in and do you notice the strange anomaly in front of the cloud, this strange formation building up behind it. Is that some kind of UFO again? Blake, it's a UFO. Again, Daryl Huff just submitted some tremendous footage right here. It's reminiscent of post sightings that we've had at third phase of moon. And the evidence is clear that image, what we're looking at here is it's suspicious. Whatever's going on over Florida is it's unique. And we're looking at strange phenomena right now. The detail is it's good and it's photo is excellent. I see somebody in, on the ground there. They're looking up at this thing and it's very large. It's huge. This thing is massive. We're seeing this more and more. The world is from Russia to Florida to the East and West Coast all over the world. What's going on people? And they're not explaining it to us. It's almost every other week or so we get a video like this or a photograph of these similar events and the major media doesn't talk about it. We're talking about it right here at Third Phase of Moon. Thanks everybody who submitted their video and photographic evidence tonight. It is quite amazing. Thank you for joining us on this ride that we're all on together to find out what the UFO phenomenon is all about. And I believe we're not alone. That's the point, people. 
keep your eyes on the skies. Have your cameras ready. We'll see you again. My name is Blake Cousins. Thanks, Brett.